Hi everyone, I'm Penelope Silver and I'm about to do my exercise today, but I wanted to talk to you guys about one of the biggest barriers that I've seen people come across and I wanted to give you ideas on how to overcome it. So today I was on track, everything was great, I had a plan, my breakfast was awesome, like I was on track for my calories for the day and then at lunchtime I was brought fast food that I haven't had in forever, right? And I'm talking like nacho cheese and everything, right? So I definitely ate it. And it's been probably about two months since I've had fast food. So I was kind of excited about it, right? But, you know, I tracked it, put it into my thing, and I had the realization that I can still end the day in a deficit. Like, it's doable. I can, I can finish the day with a caloric deficit. But what I'm not gonna do is I'm not going to say, hey, since I ate too much for lunch, I'm going to go off the wagon because I've already ruined my plan for the day. I already have too many fats in my system. Like, today's already washed, so let's just go ahead and eat what Ever we want today's a cheat day let's have fun no if you're not planning for the day to be a cheat day don't let it be a cheat day just because something unexpected happened and you end up eating more calories than you expected the other thing that I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna starve myself for the rest of the day like um, the majority of those calories that I ate at lunchtime were empty calories so I'm not gonna skip dinner and deprive my body of the nutrients that it needs just because I'm focusing on that number no I'm still going to make the best decision that I can do. Lunch has happened and I can't undo my lunch. I'm not gonna do anything crazy, you know what I mean? So when it comes to dinner tonight, I'm gonna try to really make sure that I have a well-balanced, rounded meal. Probably gonna do a protein smoothie, you know, add some spinach in there, some frozen berries and stuff, blend it up, you know. I like that, not everybody does, but you know, that's gonna be my post-workout meal too so I'm still gonna give my body the nutrients that it needs and honor the fact that I am healing and that I need to provide it with what it needs don't get focused on those numbers and don't let it derail you so either end of the spectrum can be unhealthy so overeating or trying to starve yourself and compensate so the main takeaway here is if something unexpected does happen take it you can even reflect on it I love doing any type of meditation and honor the moment that happened and then move on think about what your goals are where you want to be even a year from now what do you see for yourself and what can you do in the next hour the next afternoon the next day what can I do at this point to make that dream a reality and for me, it's carrying on with a nutritious and nutrient-dense meal for dinner and just moving forward. So, um, a lot of times, a lot of people tend to be really perfectionist. I know a lot of people who, when they diet, they get so focused on those little numbers and on everything being exactly right. And then once one little domino falls, they let everything else cascade to the wayside. So... I know it's really difficult if you're that type of person to try to combat that but you know it takes practice and it does take time to like really try to find a way to ground yourself and not let it dictate the rest of your diet or the rest of your you know rest of your meal plan for the, your future because um I can't believe I used the word diet I'm not really a big fan of the word diet because you know we all eat what we're gonna eat and what you should be eating shouldn't be different than what you want to eat for the rest of your life. Um, obviously, there's people who eat differently um, depending on like, you know, competition days or like cutting for different like events and stuff. And I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about general population. You should eat a steady amount of how you want to eat for the rest of your life. 
Um, I don't believe that diet should be temporary. I think a diet is what you eat. So anyways, that was a weird tangent and I'm sorry for that. But um, other than that, things are going well, healing pretty well. Um, everything's great. I told you I got cast in a musical, so I'm excited about that too. And yeah, things are going pretty good on the healing side of the spectrum. Still got my boot on and everything, fun stuff. So yes, if you would like to see more stuff like this, please like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. All right, you guys have a good day. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs>